So we're here at uh, Siatek and hi. Hi, welcome to Fujitsu. So uh, around here there's many different things. This is the supercomputer right here with the A64FX coming out on the Prime HPC FX1000. Around 2021, things are happening. With a supercomputer um, technology right here. So there's many different things at the booth. Can you show the map? Yeah, sure. This is all the different things. We are at the supercomputer corner right now. Let's go check out the blockchain area. All right. Let me go around here. And uh, hi. Hey. Hey. So what are you talking about here? This is blockchain. This is blockchain between uh, transaction between. Uh, so blockchain system uh, is like a gateway. Gateway. Yeah. You have an advanced gateway system for blockchain. Yeah. Thank you. And this is doing the technology. Right here. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And uh, let's go around the booth uh, to many different areas. Let's check out the AI area over here. Presentation. Hey. Hey, how are you? So, um, so what do you what do you talk about here with the AI? Yeah, this is a new uh, technology. Of AI. New technology. Yeah. So what's new about this? So current issue of AI is that AI is a black box. So AI just give you an answer. So AI does give you an answer for what? Answer for the answer for the so AI ready to something. So AI answers yes or no. That's the answer. What is this presentation talking about now? What you talk about? This presentation is about this wide learning technology. It's about, uh, about explainable AI. Explainable. Yeah. So understand human language. Understand human language? No. No. The input is table, table type data. Every time. Yeah. Cool. For example, in the field of marketing, yeah. the data is uh, customer data. So hundreds of customer data is the input. And the output is the uh, some customer uh, will buy a product or not. That's right. the answer. But cool. plus, this technology gives you an explanation why the, why the answer is yes. Yeah. For example, uh, a customer is... Uh, yeah. For example, the customer is what? Customer is made and uh, send it by uh, send, send it by uh, send it email by uh, uh, marketing a uh, person. So there are several uh, conditions. Right, so this is a big project probably. A big project for the future. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So around here you have many other area. The next next one. This is about the quantum computing area. And uh, Maybe. Hey. Hey. How are you? Hi. Ah, thank hey. you. Hi. So, what are you talking about here? Yes. Uh, I introduce this digital anila. Digital area. Digital anila. An anila. What anila. does it mean? Digital anila uh, is a world class quantum inspired computing. Digital anila. Quantum inspired. Yes. Uh, so, when there will be quantum computers in the future. Yes. It will change society in many different ways. Yes. So, what is it going to do here? Uh, what is happening here? 
レジャーにはキャ,ンキャンソルブルコンビネートリアルオプティマイゼーションプログラムでコンビネートリアルオプティマイゼーションプログラムイズエグゼステンスメインインダストリーズフォーエグザンプルマニファクチャーモビリティケミストリーロジスティックスファイナンシャルファーマシューチカル so, so this is something that's already in deployment now even there's no a quantum computer yet right no but you're already computer. doing this Yes, uh, uh, out of 50, 50, uh, uh, more than 50 customers uh, use the digital Anira. And, uh, How many? 50, uh, 50, 50 customers. Yes, yes, yes. Using the cloud service or proof of concept. Uh, concept. And how about when the quantum computer is there? What will change? Uh, It is can solve the uh, combinatorial optimization program. Uh, do you know combinatorial optimization program? This is a, is a, is a thick combination seeking. Uh, uh, many, uh, this, uh, for example, typical example is a sales, traveling sales program. The sales, sales person wants to visit the customer uh, for shortest route. If a uh, salesperson visits uh, five cities, five cities is uh, easy, is uh, 120 possibilities. But 30, if a salesperson visits 32 cities, its possibility is 2.6 times 10 cities. So with huge, huge, oh. huge, really huge, huge numbers. So if, if the program uh, solved by supercomputer, It takes about、uh, hundreds of million, hundreds of billion years. But a super,、uh, quantum computer can do it. This only can solve a few few seconds. Is Fujitsu working on quantum computer?、Uh, it's, it's not real computer computing. But Fujitsu but is working to make it also.、Uh, This is Anira. The CPU. A CPU, yeah, yeah. Yes,、uh, The quantum、uh, computer CPU. In the、yes. future, yeah. In the future, yeah. yes, yes. Yes.、Yeah. yes. Uh, now, now introduce this, this, this CPU. This Anira unit is a.、Uh, it's, it's not a quantum chip. No, not. not it's a regular chip, right? Yes, regular computer chip. Using ARM? ARM architecture? Maybe.、Uh, ASIC. ASIC. ASIC.、Yes. It's an ASIC. Yes. yes. All right.、Yeah. Cool. And this is the area here. And、uh, what's here? Something else? This is,、uh, this is uh, the virtual reality. Do you know about this?、Uh, Let's, go around. Sure Let's go around here. here. Right. <laughs> so it's like a VR demo, right? <laughs> And、uh, what is going on here?、Um, what is this about? Achieving CPS through visibility. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's go around. Do you have more, more areas?、Yes. What's the other area? So now we are. We're there. Let's go to the 5G and,、um, and you have the sports ICT. So 5G right here. IoT、5G によってエンターテインメントをはじめ社会やビジネスのさまざまなところで変革は始まっているんですみんなデジタルテクノロジーによってエンタメの楽しみ方が変わってるのは知ってるよね、okay. それは知ってますよバスケとかスポーツを360度いろいろな視点でリアルタイムで動かしながら変わっていくあ、explaining Fujitsu's future product、okay. so、let's go over there それだけではないんです。選手の取り組み、選手の見て、素人考えだと、リアルタイムで、愛着、企画ということで、フィードバックや、そう、科学可能になります。Hey. Hey. Yes. So, what is this area around here? Around here is、uh, we are introducing our sports ICT solutions here. Nice. So, let's go close to this.、Uh, so, what is happening here? Here,、uh, yeah. 
trying the rope jumping and find out how much you can not only how much you can how many times you can jump but also the balance and the rhythm here so 30 seconds jumping and jumping yeah for 30 seconds and what is what is here AI best judging support system for gymnastics. For judging support system for the artistic gymnastics. And uh, you, we are using the 3D sensor. Uh, so, uh, is this uh, like a software? What is this? Fujitsu what? Just for the judging support application. So, what does it do? 3D sensing? Sensing the, the gymnastics. Gymnastics. And so we can analyze. Yeah, yeah, analyze the sensing, the movements, and analyze and the character rate. And we have an elements database. So compared to the captured data and um, database, they can find out that they can recognize the elements. So this results sub assist the jury's sub uh, judgment. Nice. So this is your software? Yeah. You can, this is a real one. What does it do? So you can see the, this is a real one and uh, this is the 3D model. You can nice. see the 360 degrees. Well, which other sports do you have? Which? I want I want this technology for... Uh, let's go over here, one second. Uh, it would be nice to have this technology for football because many times you know you never know who's pushing the other guy and sometimes they fall very easily right but maybe your software can say there's a fall or there's no fall you know what I mean yeah because sometimes it's pushing sometimes it's not pushing it's similar similar right similar but that one is the only gymnastics for now for now but we are creating the um, skeletal model with that, recognizing the joint points and then find out to create the skeletal model. So this is perfect bit, for yeah, every sport. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So it would be perfect for football also, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. This is a lot of controversy. Uh -huh, yeah. Sometimes the Germans, they fall very quickly, or I'm joking, maybe the, the Dutch, mm -hmm. they fall very easily. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then the, the computer model can say there was no fault. Maybe, uh -huh. but you can do all this before Tokyo 2020, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we, the International Gymnastic Federation, uh, officially uh, decided to adopt that system at the at their competitions. So we're hoping to, that system will be used in, in Tokyo 2020. But it's not our decision, the FIG's decision. Can you make it ready for every sport? Yeah, I can think Every so. category yeah. of the Olympics? Uh, depends on the uh, laser sensor can detect the there's still uh, distance is limited. So it depends on the distance or circumstances. But you, it's up to you to make it work, no? <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right. Cool. What are they talking about in the show? I'm um, talking about the, uh, the uh, EX. The VX. Uh, digital transformation. So there's a lot of transformation happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we help access to transformation to customers with customers.